hydrogen and hydrogen now ch3 h and h okay so here the bond angle dihedral angle between this ch3 and this ch3 is how much 120 degrees 120 degrees means it comes here okay it comes here so that means this conformer can be also indicated as plus ac anticlinal okay so that's how you need to uh, give klein prolog terminology so this is the modern one so previously i told i explained you about uh, different types of uh, conformers based on top priority atoms or groups which are which are exist on adjacent carbon atoms so according to that you know that fully eclipsed conformer partially eclipsed conformer and gauche conformer staggered or anti conformer uh, according to that you need to give nomenclature like that but here according to klein and prelag terminology so this is the latest one so suppose you take uh, this uh, 360 degree circle the above one is called sin the below one is called anti okay and uh, <clears throat> the right side uh, values would be plus r the left side values would be minus okay so the uh, uh, 30 degrees plus or minus uh, uh, variation will be there as i told you okay so if the above one is that is called periplanar periplanar means p it can be indicated as p and the below one is antiplanar okay so if if 30 degrees dihedral angle is there in conformers then you can indicate with plus or minus sp if 60 degrees if 60 degrees dihedral angle is there in between then you can uh, indicate with plus sc okay if 120 degrees 120 degrees uh, uh, dihedral angle is there 120 degrees means it comes in this therefore plus ac okay suppose if it is 240 degrees partial eclipsed then minus ac suppose it is uh, um, uh, 300 300 means that is gauche that means so minus ac okay so if uh, the only play, uh, 30 degree separation then plus or minus sp okay so to give this kind of terminology or nomenclature okay so you need to understand these diagrams you need to understand these diagrams if you understand these diagrams it is very easy to give this kind of terminology or names to that conformers okay <clears throat> So I'll uh, I'll give you some more examples on that. Bromine, hydrogen and hydrogen, hydrogen and hydrogen bromine. According to Klein Prelag terminology, how we can how we can uh, name it so these are the two identical top priority groups which are exist on adjacent carbon atoms therefore uh, the dihedral angle in between these two bonds are 60 degrees 60 degrees so therefore it is plus uh, sin and cleaner sc plus sc okay so suppose bromine hydrogen hydrogen 
bromine, hydrogen and hydrogen. What about this? So this is the uh, left side one. Okay. So left side one means minus SC. Minus SC. Like that you can give the nomenclature according to Klein Prelag terminology, which is latest one and modern one. So these two kinds of nomenclature you need to know about that. I'll uh, I'll uh, explain you by asking a question. Question. Write the stable conformer of ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol. So the right to me identify. Identify the stable conformer of ethylene glycol. So the first option is plus SC. The second option is the second option is plus AC. The third option is plus or minus AC. The fourth option is the fourth option is plus or minus SP. How can you answer this question? Okay. Identify the stable conformer of ethylene glycol. Okay. So you need to you need to know the structure of ethylene glycol, right? CH2 OH and CH2 OH. So this is the structure of ethylene glycol. Okay. So if you write the conformer of ethylene glycol hydroxyl group hydrogen and hydrogen okay hydrogen uh, oh hydrogen and hydrogen and uh, there are oh oh hydrogen and hydrogen hydrogen and hydrogen okay oh Mm. OH hydrogen 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 so in this case which is the stable one first you need to understand so the stable one is Gauche conformer Gauche conformer is more stable than anti or staggered because of hydrogen bonding in between this uh, oxygen and the hydrogen okay so hydrogen bonding, intramolecular hydrogen bonding contributes stability to the conformer. Therefore, this Gauche conformer is more stable than the anti and eclipsed conformer. Okay, so now these two hydroxyl groups, uh, uh, dihedral angle is 60 degrees, right? Dihedral angle is 60 degrees and here 0 degrees. And here 180 degrees dihedral angle. Okay. So 60 degrees means it comes uh, as a sin, it comes to sin and also clinal. And it is clockwise side, right side. Therefore, plus AC is the answer, is the correct. Where is the plus AC? This, this one. Okay. Plus AC. Plus means 60 degrees means. This is the right side, okay. After 30 degrees, that is cleanal, and uh, the above part is sin. Therefore, plus SC is the right answer, okay. So this is the way you can uh, need to answer the questions uh, if you understand about Klein Prelag terminology, which is modern one, okay. So these are the two types of uh, classifications and. Uh, nomenclature uh, uh, 
we can give to the different confirmers okay so uh, i'll continue in the next class thank you so much bye